North Korea warning, Donald Trump must face facts and consider military action. North Korea has ramped up its nuclear and missile development over the past few months, sparking fears of World War III. President Donald Trump has pledged to take care of Kim Jong-un's ruthless regime but has not yet succeeded. Professor and former speechwriter Patrick Greenfield said the U.S. must exhaust all diplomatic options before sparking a war on the hermit nation. Appearing on Fox News, Mr. Granfield said, I think in order to have diplomacy work you'd need to have a credible threat of force. Even though we are in a season of hope and joy and peace, I think we'd really need to think seriously think hard about the prospect of what a military confrontation, of what military actions against North Korea would entail in 2018. And this is difficult, because ever since North Korea got a nuclear capability back in 2006 in the Bush administration there has really been a lack of clarity about what the options are and about what we have to do. This is a year where we have to face the facts, we have to face the truth. And what that will require is for us to exhaust all diplomatic options available. Mr. Greenfield said it is encouraging that Rex Tillerson and Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis are ratcheting up the diplomatic pressure on North Korea. Express. Home of the Daily and Sunday Express. Express underscore logo underscore Christmas search. Find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Google Plus, subscribe to our RSS feed, log and register daily horoscope wraps, top 10 R paper, paper archive, other 2 London home news, showbiz and TV sport, common finance, travel, entertainment, life and style, UK world, politics, natural, royal, weather, history, obituary, someday, since we aired Scotland, home news, world, North Korea warning, US must face facts and consider military action China preparing to join forces with North Korea in World War III warns military expert China preparing to join forces with North Korea in World War III Bob Ivanga who predicted 9-11 makes 2018 predictions and Western world should worry Bob Ivanga who predicted 9-11 makes 2018 predictions and Navy ready to rush HMS Queen Elizabeth II into battle against North Korea in World War III single quote Navy ready to rush HMS Queen Elizabeth II into battle against North Korea, China warplanes enter no entry zone, South Korea forced to scramble jets North Korea, China warplanes enter no entry zone, South Korea World War III, China threatens Taiwan invasion to unify state with force if US Navy arrive World War III. China threatens Taiwan invasion to unify state North Korea warning, U.S. must face facts and consider military action Donald Trump needs to have a credible threat of force on North Korea, but he must think carefully about whether to use military action, Professor Patrick Granfield has warned. By Charlotte Davis published, 12.30, Wednesday, December 27, 2017 Pipe updated, 12.37, Wednesday, December 27, 2017 11 Henkel. The reality of Brexit is now becoming clear to the UK close pause mute current time 039 slash duration time 130 loaded, 0% progress, 0% full screen Facebook Twitter share North Korea has ramped up its nuclear and missile development over the past few months, sparking fears of World War III. President Donald Trump has pledged to take care of Kim Jong-un's ruthless regime but has not yet succeeded. Professor and former speechwriter Patrick Greenfield said the U.S. must exhaust all diplomatic options before sparking a war on the hermit nation. Appearing on Fox News, Mr. Granfield said, I think in order to have diplomacy work you'd need to have a credible threat of force. Donald Trump North Korea latest news UK US YGD Fox News Patrick Greenfield said America must exhaust all diplomatic options before sparking a war I think in order to have diplomacy work you'd need to have a credible threat of force Patrick Greenfield even though we are in a season of hope and joy and peace I think we'd really need to think seriously think hard about the prospect of what a military confrontation of what military actions against North Korea would entail in 2018 and this is difficult, because ever since North Korea got a nuclear capability back in 2006 in the Bush administration there has really been a lack of clarity about what the options are and about what we have to do. This is a year where we have to face the facts, we have to face the truth. And what that will require is for us to exhaust all diplomatic options available. Mr. Greenfield said it is encouraging that Rex Tillerson and Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis are ratcheting up the diplomatic pressure on North Korea. Expert insists North Korea is out of options after UN sanctions play video in an effort to stop the rogue nation. The United Nations Security Council imposed tough new sanctions on North Korea after its continued missile testing. Their resolution seeks to ban nearly 90% of refined petroleum product exports to North Korea. 
Following the UN vote, Donald Trump wrote on Twitter, the United Nations Security Council just voted 15-0 in favor of additional sanctions on North Korea. The world wants peace, not death. The North Korea Foreign Ministry responded to the UN sanctions and branded them an act of war and said, we define this sanctions resolution rigged up by the US and its followers as a grave infringement upon the sovereignty of our republic, as an act of war violating peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula and the region and categorically reject the resolution. North Korea's nuclear weapons are a self-defense of deterrence not in contradiction of international law. We will further consolidate our self-defense of nuclear deterrence aimed at fundamentally eradicating the U.S. nuclear threats, blackmail and hostile moves by establishing the practical balance of force with the U.S.